Hey you guys, Rusty K here from Rusty K's Rad Rods Garage. Just wanted to give you a quick bench update on Sunday morning. So we had to call a little bit of an audible on some of the projects that we're working on and I'll explain what's going on. So as I was working on the um, 50 olds, uh, I got the engine, I don't know where the engine is, here it is. I got the engine painted, primed, painted. Um, I'll start detailing this, but as I was moving along, I realized that this kit had some parts missing and I remembered back a couple years ago when I did the uh, 50 old before, I had to pull some parts that I had screwed up out of the kit to work on that kit. So now when I come to this kit, those parts are missing. So uh, I have ordered another kit, went to my local Hobby Lobby and they didn't have any. Um, so I ordered it off of eBay, it should be here in about a week. And then I, what I'll do with that kit, um, that I have to use those parts for this, I'll just make that one a weathered one. Um, so any missing parts won't be an issue. Matter of fact, I couldn't even find the chrome tree out of this kit. And um, I, have, I know I didn't use the chrome for the other one, so I have no idea what happened to the chrome tree. But anyways, there's another one on order. I can do some of the engine work while I'm waiting, but uh, I can't go any further on this till I get some of those parts. One of them was for the chassis. For the next step of the build so i'm sort of on a, a little bit of a hold on the 50 olds on the uh 48 ford coupe this was going to be in the outclad copper and the yellow outclad over top i'm having a bit of an issue with my it, it may be my my uh air guns. Um, I just cleaned them up yesterday. They're all back to normal and good working order. But when I was laying down the Alclad copper base, I kept getting some, uh, and it wasn't really coming out of the gun hot, but I kept getting some of these black smudges. Um, you can sort of see right there. Um, when I was laying this down. So I'm probably going to strip this down, do some other things and try to get this back up and running. But in the meantime, when I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday, and was looking for another 50 olds kit i came across this one this 37 custom ford convertible it's a Lindbergh line kit and you know how you know how it happens guys you go into your hobby shop and something speaks to you and you just can't walk away so i used my 40 percent coupon off and picked this one up the sticker on this was 39 dollars but with the 40 percent off you know that helps so that was speaking to me, and then what was also talking to me while I was there was this um, Tester's One Coat Lacquer. I've decanted it. It's the um, the Mythical Maroon. So this is the color that I'm going with on this one. Um, so I've already did some body work, and I've got the I've got it all primed up. So later today, I'm going to wet sand this down, and then possibly. Um, later this evening, lay some paint down, not sure. Um, so I'm sort of going to work on this while I'm waiting to um, get the parts for the Olds. And then while I try to figure out what's going on with my Alclad on, this is the first time I've used a copper base on Alclads. I normally use a silver base, so it worked well on the spoon. Um, so I'm really not sure what my um, problem here is the spoon that the color is trying to attempt to be, right? I showed you that before. So I'm not sure what my issues are right now, um, I'll, but, I, but I will figure it out. I'll get it going. So onward and upward on the bench, we still have the Todd H. Buddy build. Him and I talked the other day. We're going to get working on that here soon again. Um, other than that, the bench is busy. The bench is busy, which is a good thing. Today should be a good day uh, of building and uh, spending some time at the, at the bench. So I'm really looking forward to it. And who knows if I get another update tonight, maybe if I get some progress, if I get some paint laid down on the 37 uh, Ford convertible. Um, I will let you guys know. Other than that, I hope you guys are having the great end to your weekend. See ya.